Assumption Track and Field team just competed in its biggest meet of the indoor season as the men and women took 6th and 7th place respectively at the NE10 Championship in Boston this past weekend. As always, Evan O'Neill, joined by head coach Stacey Wentz, to recap the most notable performances with you. And there were plenty as we start off with the women's team. Not only did they break records, but there were three top two finishes and a first place finish as well. Freshman Emily Roxo was the first Greyhound to break a program record by beating her own record in the 60 meter hurdles by 18 tenths of a second with a 9.41 finish. Junior Antonia Pagliuca came in second in the 5,000 meter run with a 7.34.48 finish as well, followed by classmate Mariah Trainer, who took her own record in the 500 meter run with a 1.19.86 time. Sophomore Abby Jones also set a new school record in the lawn jump, leaping 17 feet 11 inches. And last but not least, freshman Kylie Marston was the only NE10 champion for the Greyhounds on the women's side in the 1,000 meter event, breaking a 12 year program record with a 258.65 finish. Coach, multiple athletes to talk about on the women's team, but how about a freshman breaking a 12-year program record for the conference event? Yeah, I mean, she, Kylie ran well. I mean, she, she led from the gun. I mean, it was awesome to watch. Uh, she kind of came into her own in that event, and she is a freshman. I mean, we had some big expectations of her coming in, um, and she's starting to you know prove to the conference that she belongs and is ready to come, come and compete. Um, she's really helping to pull along the rest of our middle distance group, which has been nice. Um, and we'll start to see some big things out of that group, you know, as we're finishing our indoor season and then heading into an out our outdoor season. Mm -hmm. Now for the men's team, saying and saying that the men's team plays sixth, which is not only the best finish in school history, that's only the beginning. Freshman Justin Ireland finished out his impressive rookie indoor season with another record-breaking performance in the prelims of the 60-meter hurdles with a 6.98 time. Junior Jeremy Alley Tarter was the first of two men's NE10 champions for Assumption, coming in at 105.04 in the 500-meter event to break the program record. Freshman Kevin Hack followed Alley Tarter for the second event victory of the meet with a high jump of 1.99 meters. And to top it off, the 4x8 relay team of juniors Ian Flanagan and Elijah Fossis, along with freshman Daniel McDermott and Daniel DeLuca, took down the program record by 22 seconds with an 808-15 time. Coach, last year, any 10 championship, nobody for your team or your program on either side was able to win any events. This year, completely different. Talk about freshman progression on both sides. Talk about the men's progression because they were picked pretty low in this and to finish where they finished, yeah. unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think we were picked to finish eighth. We finished sixth. Um, last year, we were 10th out of 11th, so now we're sixth out of 11, a huge jump. Um, we have a really good freshman class, as I knew kind of come in, some people that could come in and really you know, catapult this program to where we feel like we belong and deserve to be with all the hard work we're putting in. Um, but to, you know, we've never had a win on our men's side ever that I can find in our school history, especially mm -hmm. as part of the Northeast 10 history. Um, and so with Jeremy, he had, you know, he led from the gun and that was awesome to see. Um, we had uh, high hopes for Jeremy to come in and actually, you know, put a great performance together and he did it and, and we're really excited about that. Kevin, um, it wasn't his best high jump, but again, he got the job done as we sort of had a motto, everyone has a job to do and it's time to get your job done. Mm -hmm. And that's what we, you know, said in our team meeting before we went into the championships and I felt like everyone did that. Um, you know, that four by eight relay, um, that was awesome to see because that's at the very end of the meet. A lot of teams, you know, and especially our team, you know, it's their second or third event. Um, and so for us to crush that record, that was really excited. We can go faster if all the guys were fresh. I mean, I know mm -hmm. we could probably put a 750 team together, if not even faster. Um, but like I said, it was a good it was good to see them come in and, and score some points um, in a middle distance relay where we've never scored before. Um, and so, like I said, it's it, we're really excited, you know. But again, we talk about this that we're ready, we need to be prepared for the outdoor season, and mm -hmm. that's when you know we put in all the work, and that's that's where we're going to see results. Um, but again, it was an overall really great um, Northeast Ten Championships for us. Like I said, record breaking, you know, in school history. So we'll take it. Mm -hmm. um, but we have higher goals. We want to get better. So. Definitely. Now we'll wrap things up for us. The indoor season has ended and the outdoor season will open on Saturday, March 25th at the Bears Invitational at Bridgewater State University. For Coach Wentz, this is Evan O'Neill saying thank you for watching. See you next time and go Hounds.